I'm sure you have got fantastic ideas. Let me guess. Maybe some of you wrote that the Egyptian mongoose sends sound messages to other group members, since it depends mainly on the sense of hearing, while other animals in general use their ears to hear and their eyes to see. Maybe some others thought about our own different senses and how important they are. Senses help us adapt and gather information about the world around us. We sense the heat with our skin and the sense of the food taste with our tongue. As we discover and learn more about our new investigative phenomena in activity 2, ask questions like a scientist. I bet you have lots of questions in mind. That's great. Keep them coming, exactly like scientists do. My class and I wondered, do you think all animals use their senses in the exact same way? Do they hear, see, smell and taste similarly or differently? One of my students believed that some animals might have a better sense of hearing than others do. The Egyptian moon goose, for example, while another student thought of sight and how it sharpens may differ from one animal to another, according to the environment it lives in. Imagine what I remembered when I thought of those differences. Superheroes! I remembered the superheroes that I used to watch in the cartoon movies when I was young. They used to have super abilities that no one else ever had, like flying, for example. Think about it, this is so similar to animals. Some animal species have very strong senses compared to other animals. Senses that help them survive and we call them super senses like this one. Does anybody know what this beautiful creature is? Amazing, that's the dolphin. The dolphin is one of the creatures that have a super sense. Its super sense is stronger than the same sense of other creatures. Surprisingly, this is our investigative phenomena that we will explore dolphin super senses. Let's watch a video to know what the sense is and why it needs to be so strong. أهم حاجة وانتوا بتتفرجوا على الفيديو عايزاكوا تلاحظوا كويس جدا ازاي الدولفين بيقدر ان هو يتواصل ويستخدم السوبر باورز اللي عنده القدرات الفائقة اللي بتخليه يتواصل مع مجموعة الانيمالز أهم حاجة don't forget to write down all your observation notes and questions while you watch the video As you watch the following segment, think about how dolphins and bats use echolocation to navigate their worlds. Light travels very poorly in water. Its energy decreases rapidly when it is absorbed by water. Sound, on the other hand, travels extremely well in water. Dolphins communicate with one another by transmitting and receiving different sounds. Squeaks, grunts, moans. But one sound in particular, the click, is the sound dolphins make when they are using their sonar. The use of sonar by animals to navigate through their environment, locate food, or avoid obstacles is called echolocation. Their sonar helps dolphins see, but they don't use it all the time. When they're simply swimming in open water, dolphins don't need to echolocate. They listen for sound cues to get their bearings. They hear waves breaking on the seashore. They will hear the noise of shipping in a harbor. They'll hear the clinking chains of a mooring, for example. So they will travel quite happily in total darkness and swim quite fast without echolocating to avoid bumping into things. Dave Goodson is a sonar engineer who studies dolphins. He says the sonar signal takes a lot of muscular energy to produce. 
dolphins use it to navigate difficult spaces and primarily to find food. When they use the active sonar, it's because they need to. They have to identify a swimming prey, lock onto it, guide their mouth to the actual fish. It's equivalent to us reaching out across the dinner table to pick up a piece of food, but it takes quite a lot of energy. Just to put it into perspective, a bottlenose dolphin can see something the size of an orange about 80 meters ahead of him. And that is approximately equivalent to the echo it would get from quite a large fish, but one that it could still swallow whole. Dave Goodson continues to study dolphins in the hope that he can better understand how dolphins manage such precision in their use of echolocation. Were you able to identify the dolphin's super sense? Impressive, it is the super hearing sense. But wait, can you guess why particularly the sense of hearing? That's cool, because as we studied in the previous concept, living organisms adapt to the environment they live in. And since dolphins live in dark, unclear water and swim deep down in the ocean, it's difficult to depend on sight because the light doesn't reach this depth easily. A dolphin بيعيش في أعماق البحار وهناك ما بيبقاش فيه أي ضوء وكمان المية ما بتبقاش صافية فما يقدرش يعتمد على sense of sight بيحتاج إن هو يستخدم other sense which is hearing. So how about the sound? Unlike the light, the sound moves better through water. That's why dolphins rely on the sense of Echolocation. Echolocation is a sense to communicate with other dolphins instead of relying on their sense of sight. The curious question now is, how does a dolphin use echo? And how does it relate to its unique super sense of hearing? Ta'ilun shuf da ma'abad. Akid la hasto fil video the dolphin superpower, which is the echolocation. Tailo nishrah bshakl awda hal echolocation. This is the object where the sound is going to hit. The dolphin produces a sound, and when the sound hits the solid object, it returns back. At the beginning, dolphins send sound signals, which are the clicks that we have here in the video. When these clicks move through the water and hit the object, they bounce back to the dolphins in the form of an echo. Echolocation باختصار معناها ان احنا بنستخدم تحديد المواقع عن طريق الصدى عن طريق صدى الصوت تحديدا. They use their super hearing senses to receive this echo that help them locate their prey or their swimming direction. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I know why dolphins use a unique super sense of hearing. تقدر تتابع كل دروسك على تطبيق مدرستنا بلس. مدرستنا المستقبل يبدأ الآن.